Prepare. Science with Woz. Okay, today's Spooky Science with Woz is going to deal with spooky photography. So, quick history of photography. First, things started with the camera obscura. If you don't remember, basically this was a box with a hole in it, and when light went through the hole, it would project on this wall on the other side. The only problem is it was upside down and backwards. So if you think about it, like if you hold a camera or like look through your, look through your finger hole here, I'm making a hole with my finger. If you look through it and move your head to the left, you start seeing, you start seeing things to the right when you move your head to the left. You move up, you start seeing things further down. And that's why the image gets flipped. This doesn't use any lens or anything. So to go from this to a photograph, this you just it projected on the wall and then you could paint it. The next step were daguerreotypes. One of my favorite words to say, named after Louis Daguerre. These things look like a photo, right? And they look crazy crisp in HD. So you might wonder, well, why, what was the point of moving on to photography when these already looked so good? Well, you never see pictures of them like this one here, uh, where they're off angle. They were mirrory and on silver. So if you're off angle, you couldn't see them that well. Hmm. That's interesting. So you might still bump into some old fellows like this between 1839 and 1860. You saw these. Uh, named after the inventor, Louis Daguerre, silvered copper plate, darkened except where the light hit it. Uh, next comes ambrotypes. These solved that whole angle deal where you didn't have the... Uh, off angle situation and then commonly people would um brush on some color to them too so the deal with this is you have glass instead of silver uh metal and there's this silver highlight emulsion on the glass you expose the picture to it and where the light hits it you have these little silver seeds where the emulsion turns into silver you process it by making those little grains turn all the way into silver so all your light parts are shiny, and then the dark parts are transparent in the glass, and they'd actually put, like, velvet or black cardboard behind the glass. So this might even help you bump into some old photos and kind of know when they came from. I like how it has, like, a little blush on their cheeks, like they make them look lively. Like exactly. Yeah. And they would do that. That was part of the thing, because this was a, a more fancy process to do. Um after that came tin types, where it was basically this done on metal. Uh, it was kept for uh, something like an early photo booth. The tin type photograph saw more uses and captured a wider variety of settings and subjects than any other phot photographic type. It was introduced while the daguerreotype was still popular, but its primary competition would have been this ambrotype. Uh, the tin type saw the Civil War come and go, documenting the individual soldier and horrific battle scenes. It captured scenes from the Wild West as it was easy to produce by just any old photographer working out of a covered wagon. They uh, also were backwards because all these types of photography didn't have negatives. You got the picture. That was the picture. It was like a Polaroid. So these pictures of these unnamed people they were the only ones. Not only that, but this person with what looks like his right hand on his hip, it's his left hand, because all these are reversed. Huh. So ph photography eventually solved all these, but all these little details between the grain and the silver and the off-angle thing and the, the way everyone's mirrored, um, the spooky blush, all these aspects of tintype early photography have been brought back in today's spooky science, <laughs> where we combine all this spooky processes of tintype photography with electron microscopes, uh, pictures of monsters, real life monsters of the microscopic world. These photos by an artist named Marcus Destino were first done on electron microscopes of parasites that infect humans. And then gross. <laughs> they were then uh, put onto uh, tintype. So they're pretty cool looking, right? Yeah, legit monsters that infect humans. 
why are you getting smaller instead of bigger? Here you go. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at today. Concluding our episode with some haunting nightmare things. I don't know what these monsters are. This one looks almost friendly. Just bad teeth. Yeah. His little and, nose and, up there. And one eye. <laughs> yeah. Dahlia's hair is sparkling today. <laughs> Look at her hair. Aw. It's got some sparkle. That's because of my cutout of the green screen isn't <laughs> as good today as it's been in the past. That's okay. Learn and grow with us. This little fella. It almost looks like it's in space. Yeah. This little donut. Imagine that in your donuts. Ooh. <laughs> this guy with the fangs. What is that? Really? I think it's a flea. That's what I was gonna. That's what I thought. Like right. a, like a lice or flea or something. Something licey flea. -y. That one's really foldy. Oh, look at this gentleman. This looks like an old gold miner <laughs> with his funny beard. This looks like. Which president does this look like? We should go through these and decide which presidents they look like. This looks like um. Hoover. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I see Hoover now. At first, I was seeing um, Teddy Roosevelt. That's what I was going to say, too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good old Teddy. This is just an arm. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty Tim Burton-y. <laughs> what even? What's the face? That one looks like JFK with, like, looking down. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Wearing a French hat. What yeah. president is that? This one looks friendly. Oh, I don't know. Is it Carter? Hi! That's definitely Jimmy Carter. Yeah. For oh, sure. wow. We should side by side. Just real quick, this is worth taking a minute. To see if it's Jimmy Carter or not? To prove. Because we know. There he is. Look how happy he is. Right? Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's totally Jimmy. <laughs> it's right there. That's it's so funny. totally Jimmy Carter. And then... <laughs> <laughs> I love both of those. Yeah. Okay. It's like what at Mount Rushmore because there's two more heads on either side. <laughs> <laughs> the haircut here. Yeah. That looks like Bieber. Isn't that that guy's name? Beaker? What was the guy's name from... Uh, I know exactly what you're talking the, about. The, the Muppet. Was he a Muppet or from Sesame Street? He was a Muppet. <laughs> <laughs> and he nailed it. That's him. What was it? His name is Beaker. Yep, that's okay. right. There he is. There's Beaker. <laughs> uh oh um, this one's gonna get us banned on twitch even though it's microscopic what is it is it really a this who, which president is this it's bush jr right i was gonna go with with clinton oh uh, i could see i could see that too let us know oh no i don't know yeah Clicking <laughs> human parasites and deciding which presidents they look like. They're just coming in on this. Well, then they're all uh, Trump. <laughs> this one's. They're human parasites. It's hard Sorry. to find the face on I this one. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, it's just another Tim Burton, Tim Burton. Na Nightmare yeah. Before Christmas one. Yeah. Oh, here's a face. Um, Garfield, the first president to ride an automobile. One of the fattest presidents, James okay. Garfield. Watch, I'm going to prove it. Okay. <laughs> let's find out there he is yeah. and spitting, there he is spitting image spitting image yep for sure wow i wasn't expecting some of you these have a gift <laughs> i think you're like a psychic that can go and look at human parasites and figure out which president it is this is a gift <laughs> what a gift yeah this fella hmm. mm, i'm not seeing enough of a face and oh, we're back around yeah. here this, did we give a president to this one? Um, no. This is a vice president. This is Cheney. No. Who are you thinking? I was thinking uh, the one with uh, whatever gate. Oh, oh, Nixon. Nixon. Oh, I think you're right. Why did I spell it Nixion? Okay, so Nixon here and Nixon here. Yeah. yeah. Dead on. That's totally him. <laughs> Wow, this is a beautiful place to tie it with a bow. I can't bow. believe you have this gift now. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful. <laughs>